everyone and welcome back to the breakdown today i'm teaching you how to download and install the mine shafts and monsters mod pack in minecraft we're going to be going over every single step downloading it installing it setting it up all via the curse forge launcher which is the official launcher that you will need to get this mod pack installed first of all though what if you want to server with the mine shafts and monsters mod pack well if that's the case you can check out apex minecraft dust to get the first link down below the breakdown to xyz slash apex to get your very own mine shafts and monsters server set up in just a few clicks apex was awesome enough to sponsor this video Video, and we actually love and trust Apex so much that we have our own server, playdartbreakdowncraft.com. All on them, so if you want to start your very own server, check out Apex in the first link down below, the breakdown to XYZ slash Apex. Again, you can set up a mine shafts and monsters mod pack in just a few clicks. It's absolutely incredible. Nevertheless, let's go ahead and jump right on into how to get this mod pack installed locally so you can play it on a server or just in single player. Either way, you are going to need to install mine shafts and monsters using this method. The first thing you want to do is go to the second link down below. That's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for the basically curse forge launcher and you will need the curse for launcher in order to get the monsters and mine shafts mod pack again we do have this text tutorial that goes through everything but we're going to be showing you basically the steps in this video once you're here scroll down and click on the yellow download button again that was the second link down below to take you to our tutorial once you're here you want to go ahead and click on the download for windows button and that's going to go ahead and immediately in the bottom left download curse forge windows you shouldn't need to keep or save the file but if you do it's 100 percent safe to do so i promise now we go ahead and minimize our browser and here are desktop we do have the curse forge installer this isn't on your desktop it's going to be found in your downloads folder to find that click the little windows icons in the top left of my screen probably in the bottom left of your screen click on that little windows icon in the top or bottom left once you've done that go ahead and type in downloads you have this downloads file folder here click on that and in here you will find curse forge drag it to your desktop just for ease of use now we can go ahead and double click on curse forge and it's going to open up an installer just like any other installer right it's going to look very very familiar to installing other programs in minecraft just like you are used to on any other program it is going to look basically like this right here. Now, it does look a little bit nicer than, let's say, like an older program would, but overall, it is an installer where you just click on Next. You are then going to have to agree to what you want to, you know, put your desktop shortcuts for. I would recommend getting one for CurseForge. Overwolf is basically the program that's required to run CurseForge. Overwolf owns CurseForge, and unfortunately, you do need to install Overwolf to get CurseForge. And then you want to go ahead and agree to their terms and privacy policy. If you do, then go ahead and click Next, and now it's going to install CurseForge. Again, just like any other program. There's no reason to overcomplicate it. It's like any other the program out there that you would install you just kind of have to sit back wait and let it do its thing so that's what we're doing just sitting back waiting and letting it do its thing and waiting downloading 100% now installing it and yeah we're just kind of sitting here waiting for it to finish this off but as you can see you can get minecraft mods you can also get other mods for other games but uh, this is a minecraft channel after all so we're not going to be talking about that eventually it will go ahead and pop up as you can see here that it has been successfully installed in your browser so that is awesome however once you're here you're going to have this red launch button you can click on that and it should launch curseforge if you accidentally close out of that or don't click the launch button for whatever reason you should have this in the top left of your your screen or on your desktop here a curseforge icon that you can double click on to basically open up curseforge now we can't uninstall or not uninstall but delete the installer that we uh, have on our desktop we don't need that anymore because uh, now we're just launching it like you would any other program let's go ahead and center this we get this really cool like fire pop up here and then you're going to get the intro to curseforge now this is going to give you some kind of overview about what curseforge is how it supports mod authors and all of that stuff which is really really cool it's something we'd like to see especially these 70 percent of revenue going to mod authors you can also subscribe to to get no ads so awesome stuff there however what we want to go ahead and do is click on the minecraft basically logo here this minecraft java edition right here from the main curse forge menu when you click on that it's going to take you here where you want to get minecraft or basically curse forge ready for minecraft and then click continue there we go now to search for mod packs up here at the top we're just going to search for mine shafts and monsters so we're just going to search mine shafts in this case and there it is mine shafts and monsters we can then go ahead and click on the orange install button here and guess what is now installing the mine shafts and monsters mod pack it's that simple that easy it's going to take it a minute because it has to download it and then it has to install it so depending on your internet connection it could take a decent amount of time to get this downloaded but eventually it will have it downloaded and then it will install it there's no reason for me to sit here while it's downloading this and installing it and talking to you and all this through all of it so i'm just going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut and i will meet you once it is finished from this point though you don't need to do anything until uh this bar right here goes away i did mission when that bar went away well apparently the bar goes away whenever it is downloading so as you can see they're done downloading so it finished downloading the bar went away and now it says installing until this cancel button goes away you don't need to do anything if that cancel button's there don't click it don't do anything like that because if you click it it's going to mess things up but uh, yeah i just wanted to mention that if, if that bar goes away you, you still do need to do more waiting unfortunately sorry about that so when mine shafts and monsters is finished you should have no text there you should now have a like latest release there it might not be today but you should have released release the download count and uh, most importantly an orange play button over here now you can't 
can't click that, but I do want to mention that if you, you know, come back to basically play Minecraft or Mineshafts and Monsters, what you want to do is come back here and click on Minecraft on the left hand side, and then it'll be right here. And you do need to launch it through Curse Forge every time. Let's go ahead and click the orange play button. So then going to download basically some stuff for the Minecraft launcher here, and then eventually it's going to open up the default Minecraft launcher. Now what you need to enter in here is going to be your Minecraft username and password, right? So it's going to be the username and password that you normally use on the default Minecraft launcher. Why is that? Because this is the default Minecraft launcher. If you have a Microsoft login, awesome, use that. Otherwise, use your Mojang login. I'm going to go ahead and log in here, and I will see you after a quick jump cut. All right, here we are logged in after we've entered in our Minecraft login info. Now, as you can see, it says Mineshafts and Monsters down here. That is awesome. That's what we want to see. If it doesn't say that down here, just close out of the Minecraft launcher and hit the play button again. And CurseForge is then going to open it up, and it should be there. Now, there's two more things I want to mention. First, click on Installations up here. We do have this Mineshafts and Monsters installation. Click on the three dots on the right-hand side and click on Edit. The reason I'm doing that is you might want to change your screen res resolution as I do. So you can change that there. You can also add more RAM. Now, one of the cool things about Curse Words these days is it installs the recommended amount of RAM by default usually. So in this case, it is four gigabytes. We're just going to leave that the same. But if you do want to add more RAM, you can add it right here. Now let's go ahead and click Save. Come back to the Play button. Again, Mine Shafts and Monsters is selected. Click the green Play button. Now, it is basically saying you're about to play Modern Minecraft. Yeah, you know you were about to play Modern Minecraft because it's a mod pack, right? So let's go ahead, understand the risk, and click play. And now Minecraft 1.16.5, technically, it doesn't matter what version, though. Minecraft, Mine Shafts and Monsters is going to open up and install. Now, it does need to do some downloading here. That's completely normal. And it's going to take a while to install or, like, get opened up the first time. Mod packs opening the first time always take forever. I've had mod packs not as much so recently, but back in the 1.8 Minecraft days, way long ago, take... 30 minutes to finally get open and live and ready to actually play. So it does take a while. Just let it download, let it set up, let it install, let it work through the files, all of that stuff. And eventually we will be on the micro main menu and ready to play. So I'm going to let this download. I'll show you what happens when it finishes. And then I'm going to go ahead, show you kind of on the micro main menu and walk you through each kind of step of opening this. So once that initial download is completed, you'll be taken to a red screen like this, where you may have this like spinning wheel of death. If that does happen. Don't worry about it. Don't freak out. It's perfectly normal for that to happen, and if for whatever reason it never works itself out after a few minutes, you can close out of Minecraft, relaunch it again, and usually it will work through itself. But as you can see, for me, it just worked itself through that without any issues. So now we're just kind of on this screen. It's going to take a while. It's going to freeze a lot. It's going to have issues. It, for some reason, has opened up full screen for me, which basically means you are now seeing a black screen. There you go. Now you're seeing the actual Mojang Studios launch there. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and do a quick jump cut again until we are on the main menu, and this could take minutes. As I said, so don't be alarmed if it does take minutes. Specifically, as long as you're you're seeing some movement up here in the top left of different things happening. It is still launching and you're going to be perfectly fine. It's just taking its time to get open. So here we are. We are frozen at the basically last microsecond here of the launch screen. Again, though, we're not actually frozen because it was still up until this moment doing stuff up here in the top left. When it does freeze, that means it's kind of finishing up and opening Minecraft. And just like that, there we go. Now we do get additional loading after that goes away, which is unfortunate, but that's okay. It's just Part of Minecraft mod packs, they take a while to load. So I'm now going to go ahead and do another jump cut, and I will see you once we are finally on the main menu, which should happen after this pre-rendering of animations is finished. There we go. The pre-rendering was finished, and it did this really cool animation to open up Minecraft here. Now, one thing you can see, this is a completely different sort of multiplayer setup, right? And that is really, really cool. And that's something, or not multiplayer, Minecraft main menu setup. As you can see, we have multiplayer here. That takes you to this, which does have a resource pack installed. Then you have single player, which takes you into the kind of single player player launch world here. Now, one of the things is it's going to lag. There we go. So now we can launch a single player world. I'm going to just this, uh, just name this new world, I guess would be fine. Actually, I'm going to make it creative. Not really recommended, but you can do that. The reason I'm doing it is so you all will be able to kind of see things are working in game easier. And then we go ahead and create this world. And again, it's going to take a long time to open up. This whole entire process for you all has been under 10 minutes so far in this video. Uh, for me, actually, in real time, it's been about 20 minutes. So it's going to take a while. Just be prepared for that. I will see you again after one more quick jump cut to when we are actually in Minecraft and loaded in to the Monsters and Mineshafts mod pack. So here we are, we are now loading in. For some reason, I think my recording froze there for a second, but it was doing like a preloading thing before it started loading this. I just wanted to cut back in and show that. So if it did look like I clicked the create world button and it just froze, that didn't freeze, it was just my recording. And now it is opening up this. So anyway, again, I will see you after a very quick jump cut on the basically, or in the actual world for monsters and mineshafts. 
All right, so here we are in the world, and I wish I'd gotten the initial load in because it uses what we call like drop-in chunks. Uh, it's it's a mod that allows basically really cool chunk rendering when you first join in. And the sound of this, by the way, of this mod pack is completely custom from what I'm seeing as well. You all can't hear that, but it is there. Uh, I am going to fly, and you can kind of see, yeah, see how these chunks appear? That is so, so cool, and uh, as you spawn into a world, it, it creates a very, very good effect. But, um, yeah, so this is the mod pack. As you can see, it is now installed. We do have just enough items over here with all of the different stuff that you can uh, use in-game. And this is a really, really cool mod with a lot of cool custom biomes and just overall an awesome concept. So, as you can see, we even have custom buildings here like this one. So that's how you can download and install the Monsters and Mineshafts mod pack in Minecraft 1.16.5. But again, this will work for any version up 117, 118, whatever version they update this to, it will work for it. Thank you all so, so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more awesome content every single day of the week. I think, uh, there's a bird there. It really does mean a lot. We make awesome Minecraft content every day. My name is Nick. This has been The Breakdown. This is a cool mod pack, and I'm out. Peace.